What's up, y'all? It's Eric with Underdogs of Addiction. Today's video is just going to be a little bit of a B-roll um, showing one of my favorite places in Olympia, Washington, where I'm from, where I've been away for a year. I haven't been to this park in like a year. Ten years ago, around this time, I filmed my music video, Styles Made Your Dreams. It has over 20 million views on YouTube, and it really changed me and my brother's life. But in the course of that 10 years, um, I didn't know what was to come. In the course of that 10 years, I went from being poor to having a lot of money. Went from being unsuccessful to successful, to living out a lot of my dreams and getting a lot of the notoriety that I always wanted. But within that, some of the darkest times in my life were the most successful. During that period is when my addiction grew in 2016. I started drinking a lot. A couple years later, I started using cocaine. Um, a lot of family deaths. Uh, there's a lot of generational trauma. A lot of addiction runs on both sides of my family. My grandfather, my dad, my grandmother. My, I have two aunts that died from overdoses. Um, so yeah, um, and I'm just kind of coming here today and just reflecting, you know. Been in treatment for, treatment and sober living for 11 months and this is my first month back home and life really has a way of uh, humbling you, you know. I went from having financially everything I thought I needed to living in sober living and now restarting my life really. And my purpose right now is building this Underdogs of Addiction brand. I don't feel like anyone's making the videos as real and raw as I'm doing. I mean, I'm literally bare bones using an old phone and just keeping it raw and real with you guys. And um, for some reason, I feel like that it's uh, it's catching. I'm, I'm overwhelmed by the comments and and stuff so I'm really trying to focus on building this right now I feel like this is my purpose I've made music since I was 16 and um, I'm kind of retiring from that and I'm putting all my energy into building this brand and um, last night I watched a documentary with my grandfather his name's Sonny Simmons he was a famous jazz musician and um, I didn't realize how bad his addiction was and how it plagued his career it plagued my dad's career it plagued me and so I just feel like I have to do this for the people, for my for my granddaddy, learn from his mistakes. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of making this video to check in to show you guys just one of my favorite spots. This is the Puget Sound in Olympia, Washington, right off the Pacific Ocean. Right deep back there, you can see the Capitol building. This is actually a really dope drop off that I found today that uh, I've actually never been to, like a little cliff with a nice dope view. But I just kind of wanted to check in and give you guys a little B-roll video and uh, checking with you guys. Um, when I came back home, I did have a brief relapse um, and, and stuff like that. But I'm back on track and I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Uh, when you're trying to come back home and live in your hometown, you really can't hang out with anybody that uses. You can't go to the same places. I really sabotaged myself when I came home, I think. Um, it's just that, that, that disease of addiction trying to take you back. but. I learned so much and I learned not to beat myself up and I saw what I was doing and I quickly corrected it and back on track and you know relapse is part of the process guys and if you're going to try to stay sober in your hometown you really have to change where you hang out who you hang out with um, you can't go back to any of the old things because you'll you'll get swallowed back up um, I quickly realized like oh crap like I don't want to do this and I let it go and uh here i am but i'm definitely gonna make some a bunch of more content for you guys i'm back home in washington state and um you know i've been a little sick this last couple of weeks and some of the best things you can do when you're feeling triggered or you're feeling down is just get out and move and get in the sun and uh if i could leave you guys with anything today is get out go walk go talk to people go be of service go help somebody else out this morning i helped someone jump their car just little stuff like that get out of your head um, also in the comments you know if there's anything you guys want me to talk about uh, get down in the comments and let me know I'm also going to start doing interviews with other people in recovery active users and unactive people who are in you know remission whatever you want to call it uh, so there's gonna be plenty more content coming out so just checking with you guys man I love you guys I appreciate all the support and uh, I'm gonna keep the videos coming for you take care